Hello students, I hope everyone is preparing well for the upcoming examinations and in this lecture I will discuss with you all time high scoring chapters of paper 1 advanced accounting. But before I share you the list of high scoring chapters, let me tell you two things. One is the average weightage of each and every chapter in the recent attempt question papers and second one the question paper pattern. So for that I already prepared a table. Let's look into the table. Yes, in this table you will find question papers of latest three attempts and MTPs of uh, latest three attempts as well as upcoming attempt that is May 25 and the average weightage you can see here this is average of the weightage of each and every chapter. So from accounting standards 43 marks are coming consolidated financial statement 16 marks schedule 3 8 marks cash flow statements 13 marks buyback 4 marks amalgamation 16 marks internal reconstruction 13 marks branch accounting 6 marks by this it is very clear you know this accounting standards this first one accounting standards excludes standards related to cfs standards related to amalgamation and cash flow statements so based on that only i prepared this table getting my point next one if you look at the question paper pattern yes including choice our paper is for 118 marks out of 118 marks, you know, 30 marks object to paper where you will find uh, 15 multiple choice questions. Each question carries 2 marks. And out of 15 questions, you know, 10 questions are coming from accounting standards. So accounting standards, you can expect 20 to 22 marks in MCQs. And from other topics like cash flow statements, schedule 3 financial statements, buyback, you can expect uh, 8 to 10 marks. Now coming to descriptive paper. So here you will be given 6 questions. Question 1 is compulsory and from the remaining 5 questions you need to attempt only 4 questions. So each question carries 14 marks and first one also carries 14 marks. So total 70 marks is for descriptive paper. And if you observe carefully, first one that is the compulsory question will contain problems relating to accounting standards. Second one, internal reconstruction or schedule 3 financial statements. Third one, accounting standards plus buyback. Fourth one amalgamation, fifth one cash flow statement or consolidated financial statements. Last one accounting standards plus branch accounting. So by this it is very clear if you observe this question paper pattern, you know accounting standards. From accounting standards you can expect 20 marks object to paper. And you know first question accounting standards, last question some 6 to 8 marks accounting standards only. And in between also question 3 accounting standards. So, so my first priority topic. First priority topic should be accounting standards and for this accounting standards you know try to allot 35 to 40 hours 35 to 40 hours from standards you know you can expect 5 marks question maximum a question is for 5 marks only getting it so 40 to 45 marks are in your hands second priority second priority prepare cash flow statements first complete accounting standards you know accounting standards also don't read you know one after one immediately you know morning one standard you read evening one standard next day morning one standard next day evening one standard like that you know nine days we are having nine into two 18 standards you can complete that's it next one cash flow statements and next one buyback and next one internal reconstruction so if you complete these four topics, you know, accounting standards, cash flow statements, buyback, internal reconstruction, 73 marks as per average weightage, 73 marks you can attempt. I'm asking you, if you're able to attempt 73 marks perfectly, can't you achieve 60 marks? Or at least can't you achieve 50 marks easily? Comfortably, you can achieve 50 to 60 marks. Getting my point? You know, majority of the students, what they do, you know, majority of the students, first they will prepare amalgamation consolidated financial statement schedule 3 all right from these three chapters imagine 14 marks are coming rough 14 into 3 42 marks max to max 42 marks but just look at the question paper previous attempt question paper you know each question may be some four pages five pages and with adjustments even if you miss one adjustment that's it the entire problem will be wrong of course stepwise marking will be there but the point is in between the problem if your pen is not moving, if you are not getting, if you are not recollecting the next step, that's it. Lot of time, valuable time will be wasted. And I forgot to tell you, you know, in examination, you are having 180 minutes, correct? 180 minutes for writing the exam. I will deduct 30 minutes for normal loss and abnormal loss. You know, reading the question paper, 
making some adjustments so 30 minutes normal and abnormal loss so you will have 150 minutes time and you need to write 100 marks so for 100 marks you are having 150 minutes so that means for each mark you need to allot just one and a half minute that means if you are solving a 10 marks problem max to max you should invest 15 minutes suppose it crossed in 15 minutes spend another five minutes that's it beyond that don't spend you know keep one page idle or keep two pages idle immediately start solving the next problem majority of the students what they do you know until they finish the problem they will not start another problem and psychologically you know ICA will test you psychologically so first paper you know either they may give lengthy paper easy paper but lengthy or they may give tricky paper tricky means you know with a lot of adjustments ICA no majority of the students prepare amalgamation consolidation schedule 3 so there you know some internal adjustments if they increase the number of adjustments that's it student find difficulty of the paper getting my point let me share my experience also you know in my examination in my examination of 100 marks amalgamation problem I spent almost uh, 40 minutes time for amalgamation I spent 40 minutes time and in that amalgamation you know calculation of purchase consideration you know one problem is like this for every two shares held in the selling company you know the shareholder of selling company for every two shares held by him three shares will be given as a consideration plus cash will also be paid per share cash will be paid of two rupees like this you know one problem is there that means you know number of shares in selling company number of shares into in selling company into the three by two into face value we get one amount next one number of shares into cash correct cash but you know i forgot and i here also multiplied with three by two that ratio you know for every two shares three shares will be given as settlement right so i multiplied three by two not only for the number of shares but also for uh, cash also for cash also i calculated like this so you know my purchase consideration is wrong my balance sheet tallied my balance sheet tallied but purchase consideration is wrong and you know when i wrote ca inter examination you know we had a accounting of incomplete records one more chapter accounting of incomplete records is there right now the chapter is not there in this chapter you know the final balance sheet not tallied so one 16 marks amalgamation problem you know purchase consideration wrong and another 16 marks you know accounting of incomplete records uh, uh, totals not tallied so out of 100 marks 32 marks i wrote wrong i attempted wrong that means you know how many marks i attempted 68 marks i attempted but listen carefully when i'm solving incomplete records when i'm solving amalgamation i felt lot of tension lot of pressure is there oh, instead of solving big problem you know i'm telling you instead of solving big problem solve all the small problems first you know so start solving all four marks problems five marks problems first once all four marks five marks problems are over then go with big chapters then go with big chapters like amalgamation consolidation schedule three financial statements branch accounting and you know out of 68 marks you know which i attempted correctly you know what is my score you know my score is 79 marks sir how you got this sir of course purchase consideration is wrong for remaining steps marks will be given of course accounting of incomplete records total not tallied for remaining steps marks will be given so because of that you know i got maximum marks you know i got more marks but i'm telling you i'm suggesting you don't start preparation you know don't start revision with the lengthy chapters because it kills your valuable time and in examination also don't start with the big problems because you have to study some four to five papers to understand the question so instead of doing that first you know all small small topics you complete you know these four topics accounting standards cash flow statements buyback internal reconstruction these four topics roughly you need to spend 50 hours for revision for thorough revision 50 hours is sufficient you know for accounting standards max to max spend 40 hours 35 hours is sufficient but spend 40 hours revise only study material related problems if you are if you want to you know if you want to start revision freshly revise accounting standards problems from study material next one cash flow statements max to max four hours buyback some three hours internal reconstruction max to max you know some four hours so like this if you are able to allot your time you know within 50 hours within 50 hours time you can comfortably revise 73 marks or 70 marks only imagine 70 marks only once 
this completed then proceed with schedule 3 you know schedule 3 you need to be thorough with the format if you are thorough with the format just uh, you know posting of the amounts posting of the amounts that's it by this you know your score will go to 80 marks next uh, time is still there sir then go with uh, amalgamation another 14 marks if time is still there then go with consolidation financial statements 14 marks by this you know you already crossed uh, 100 marks in examination no need to attempt more than 100 attempting 100 is sufficient and one last point i want to convey you is first to paper you know don't keep maximum target don't keep maximum target you know majority of the students what they think is so taxation 40 to 50 law 40 and uh, accounts uh, some 70 to 80 marks like this you know they will target the target like this so total 150 marks from group one so like this the target but ica know the student mindset and ica the first paper itself you know ica either it may give lengthy paper or it may give tricky paper that means you know with adjustments so that's why first paper you have to keep a target of 50 plus marks that's it if you are able to get 70 marks that means it's a bonus only extra marks is bonus only but if you are able to score 50 marks that's it target accomplished getting my point if you keep high target you know my seniors majority of my seniors and majority of my students also after going with the first paper you know first paper is lengthy you know they pride you know they felt difficulty in handling remaining papers so it's my suggestion my suggestion only if you are keeping target of first paper 70 to 80 okay no problem but my suggestion is don't keep that much heavy target for paper one just target for 50 plus if you are get once again i'm telling you if you are able to get 80 marks you know that extra 30 marks is bonus only to you extra 30 marks is bonus to you only getting my point students everyone but keep target of 50 advanced accounting law also 50 tax also 50 that's it that's it our group one target is 150 marks anything above 150 it is our bonus only it's god gift only clear so once again i'm telling you first you go with these four topics accounting standards cash flow statements buyback internal reconstruction spend 50 hours effectively and efficiently then 70 plus marks in your hands then only start schedule 3 then only start amalgamation then only start consolidated financial statements and final topic is branch accounting everyone i hope this video will be very helpful to you so i'm waiting for your comments and if you like this video just like the you know if you if you're convinced with this video just like the video and share this video to your friends all the best for your upcoming examinations